Первый представляю бойца в синем углу. Introducing to first fighting out of the blue corner. Ему 34 года. Рост 165 сантиметров, вес 59,4 килограмма. Его профессиональный рекорд 13 побед, 2 поражения. И его стиль бразильской джоу-джитсу. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 34 years old, standing 165 centimeters tall. Official weight 59.4 kilos. As Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialist with professional record 13 victories and two Two losses representing Santa Gutierrez, Sierra Brazil. Introducing Charles Blackout Henrique. He was a very красном углу. His opponent fighting at the red corner. He was 26 years Рост 165 сантиметров, вес 60 и 25 сотых килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 9 побед, 2 поражения, его стиль ММА. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 26 years old, standing 165 centimeters tall, official weight 60.25 kilos, as MMA specialist. Professional record, 9 victories and 2 losses. Тамы и господа, из Красного Россия, Масур Малыш Хатуев. Рефери Николай Шарифов. So we look at the tail of the tape between these two flyweight contenders. 34 years of age is the Brazilian Charles Enrique taking on 26-year-old Mansour Hatuev. Height and reach virtually identical. We are set and ready. A partisan full house here as well. All behind the man in the red. Yeah, Charles Enrique, not a stranger to coming into en enemy territory. Oh, stop! Oh. Just lost balance on the way in. Look how thick set Charles Enrique is. Well, he's saying eye poke there. Referee says continue. Oh, absolute powerhouse, Enrique. Both men swinging right hooks from the rafters there. Katuev out of range. Ooh, spinning attack from Hatuev. Enrique right. wise to it. Lively start. Yeah, you can see. Oh, Enrique wants to mix it up in the middle. Look at that. Big, big moment there for the Brazilian. Landed two heavy shots as well before it's gone to ground. Oh, and trying to take the back, trying to spoil the party here for Mansur Hatuev. And we looked at the record of Charles Enrique. Only three finishes in his 13. One. Sorry, two finishes. One knockout, one submission. Trying to add to that here early. This is a very aggressive start from the Brazilian. A two of trying to stop that second hook coming in. But listen to the crowd now. Got to be said, this is an incredible venue, isn't it? <laughs> the Coliseum is purpose-built for this, these combat sports, and you can feel it. The atmosphere really drives all the way through the audience into the into the cage. Atuev <laughs> doing well trying to fight the hands the grip the, even the feet the foot battle that's going on there between the two short shots coming down and her two f doing the right things controlling the wrists the hands Two minutes, 15 seconds left in this first round. Still Enrique working hard, trying to make some sort of gap. Now softening him up, trying to work to try and get that choke. Oh, he's flattened him out. This is a bad spot. Looking for the head and arm here. The two have reacts well. There we go, now he's out. Listen to the crowd here. An 
What a moment there, Dave, to turn around when he was in such danger as well. Unbelievable patience from Kachuev as well. Sp hey. Spent over two minutes under the pump, and now 90 seconds is a long time for Henrique. Yeah. And patience is the perfect word there, Dave, because that's what he was, and he had to be switched on and patient, wait for his moment. But when it came, you look at the explosion turning it round to this position and still oh, just over a minute to work from here Charles Enrique trying to make some space here at Tuev keeping the pressure up against the cage oh big forearm drives down into the face of Enrique yeah, he just softened him up with a few of those body blows, didn't he? And did exactly the same again. Just waits for Henrique to make that little adjustment. The good pressure from the young man from Grozny. Henrique trying to build a base. You see there, her two have control in that right arm. Now let's see if he can keep Henrique down. Enrique working hard though. It's almost a cliche now when you talk about the flyweight division, just the energy, the pace they can fight at, Dave. Strong opening five minutes between these two. I've both had their moments in that opening five minutes as well. Certainly, there were some nice exchanges on the feet. Enrique bringing a lot of forward pressure. Oh, those are the big shots. But look at the reaction from Atuev here. See if we look at the get up. Doesn't quite show us that, but there's the reaction from him being on bottom. Enrique looked to be having a good amount of control, but Atuev turned it around and then delivered some nice ground and pound of his own. Makes it interesting stepping into round two, Dave. They both tasted each other on the feet and on the ground now. And now it's about adjustments little holes that them, their corner might see in the game that can open up a path to victory for each fighter. Do your instincts tell you that Enrique would probably prefer to stay on the feet for a bit longer in this round? I think Enrique was bringing a lot of forward pressure. I think he has a lot of faith in the power in his, his hands and his chin. When he got into those close quarters, he was happy to throw three, four, five shots and even eat a couple on the inside. Oh. Lance first with that left hand there as well, Enrique. Oh, but oh, look at that. Take down. And we're talking about what, what Enrique might have wanted, but actually, maybe in that first round, had to have felt something on the ground that showed this is where he can uh, open up that route to victory. Never underestimate the difference a home crowd can make to a fighter as well. And every time Khatuev has done something positive. The response he's got has been, well, goosebump stuff here, yeah. really. Yeah. Incredible backing. A absolutely electric. And we are probably just three quarters, maybe maybe a bit more than that full here in the Coliseum. Set for a sellout as we move into the main car, which we'll see today have take on prior in our main event. We have also got now being bumped to the, uh, the main fight of the preliminary we will see Rustam Kerimov return to take on Daniel Almeida both former ACA champions will face off in our main event or our main fight of the preliminary card There's still business to deal with here in the flyweight division had to have heavy on top beautiful takedown that got him here as well timed it nicely Oh, nice reactions. Enrique did brilliantly there. Might look for a takedown of his own off the back. Strength and technique from the Brazilian to get back to his feet. And there's the scramble. Oh, Hatuev with the little throw. But watch the momentum shift as Enrique used it to get top position. Enrique still 
bearing that weight down on the shoulders, the nape of the neck there of, uh, of Atuev. But look at the reactions from Atuev. As soon as there's a gap, he's trying to make something happen, Dave. Oh! Big takedown there from Atuev. He's got to be careful. You see this Kimura grip here from Enrique controlling the position and opening up the neck but Atuev turns in nicely the hooks weren't in for Enrique so Atuev able to avoid that choke we're talking tiny margins here aren't oh, we oh split seconds less nanoseconds of reactions it's so good Now one minute forty-five seconds. This this top control as well. This is a, a again a repeat of the end of round number one with Hatuev here, using the cage to his advantage, controlling Enrique. Half guard position here. The referee causing calling for more action. And a lot of fighters happy to sit in this position if they can control that leg. Wait for Enrique to build a base. You'll see he's going to try and post that left arm down, get his back against the cage. And as he does, you can see instantly there, looking, trying to reap that away, break that base bit by bit. But Enrique's strength is something to behold. A 2 have looking for the back now. One hook in. Enrique very aware of that. Such a technical, technical contest between these two. To have controlling that, you can see Enrique now trying the other side as a route out. Still, the forward pressure coming from Hatuev. With, en with Enrique, though, even when he's been in this position, he's always made sure that he looks busy. Yeah, certainly trying to get some work in, but it's so frustrating in those positions where somebody is tying you up like that. What a second round we have between those two. Again, finished like the third though, the second first though, Dave, with that Mansov Hatuev top position up against the cage. The difference being this time round, at the start of the round, it was actually Hatuev who got the takedown very well timed. Yeah, he was able to set his stall out a bit earlier in that second round. And there we see that takedown. Short shots. I was impressed with the get up here from Enrique. Did everything right. And then look at this. Watch this momentum. Enrique uses his hips to switch that momentum to get him top position. And this sees Hatuev with the big slam there. Fascinating as we move into round number three. And there was that one split second just after that where it looked as though he could have got the choke in, but Khatuev's reactions got him out of trouble. Which means, lucky fight fans, we get a round three. <laughs> there, is a round three. there is a treat. More action to come here. Khatuev in the red corner. Henrique in the blue. Enrique just looks so full of energy still, doesn't he? This, it, uh, when you watch the, and you witness the pace at which they fight, to be still this full of energy, this much pop in your shots, this amount of movement, throwing spinning stuff to a smile from Hatuev. Oh, He's right got caught! Left. He's got caught! He's on wobbly legs, Dave! Hatuev still on wobbly legs. That base is not under him. Enrique walking him down. Hatuev has got to be in survival mode here as Enrique looks for the finish right in front of us here in the commentary position. Now Hatuev looking for the takedown. Enrique wraps up that neck. Huge shots from Enrique. Oh. You've got to ask how well recovered is Hatuev. For me, 
if I was Enrique there with a step back out, got it back to the feet. I still don't believe uh, Tuev is uh, dusted off those cobwebs. Big moment in the third round, early in the third round as well, Dave. And we need to find, well, we will find out exactly how much energy those shots have sapped from Khatuev. And will he now have the energy to turn this grapple in his favour? Yeah, well, the energy of the crowd is trying to feed down into their man right now. And Enrique yeah. is not giving him any time to relax. That left, that's the fourth oh. elbow, the gum shield's gone. Solid elbows from the inside. Enrique just able to... Oh, some refereeing on the move. <laughs> I'm sure the dentist of a 2 will be very grateful for that. <laughs> but for me, a 2 f this might be a bad position, but he's not taking the sort of shots that he would be. And I say that, then you see Enrique slide into full mount. Still 2 minutes 45 seconds. Huge round here for the Brazilian. Wow, listen to that. Short elbows just coming down to the side there. The temple of Atuev. But as he has done the entire fight, always looking busy, always looking to get a shot away. And Enrique right in front of his corner as well. Just taking the guidance. Oh, now posturing up, big shots. And again, that's veteran stuff, Dave. Posturing up, taking the shots he can, then re-establishing position, dropping elbows now. Again, look, re-establishes. And this will be what he's learned as well through rounds one and two. If you give a space to a Tuev, he reacts so well, makes the most of it. Looking to take the back here. Enrique trying to work that arm under the neck. And the crowd here really trying to feed, muster the energy, the will into her 2 have to survive this. Enrique attacks once under the neck, now the other side. Palm to palm here, again that's not under the neck. What a strong, strong third round here from Enrique setting that body triangle on the other side this time. The two have in survival mode. Oh, that's under the chin. Now it's about fighting that second hand. That's deep. Does well though, her two have creates space, breaks the grip. That was close. If Enrique had gone for palm to palm there, maybe the, trying to set it across his bicep, maybe could have got the finish. And now, once again, the arena lights up. Final 10 seconds, Dave. What a third round. Well, should we hear the final hooter, I think... Katsuev has done incredibly well to hear it because Henrique in this third round has been exceptional whether it's been landing those bombs early on or controlling the floor for what felt like an eternity we will get a decision which way will it go well again the judges are going to be called into action Henrique on top of the cage he feels like he's done enough certainly Listen, if that had been a fight in the car park and somebody stepping away from that, Enrique was the one on top causing the damage, looking for the finish. But her two have did such good work in rounds one and two to make it a, a close decision at least. Well, we've got to credit Hatua. What was it? 35, 40 seconds to go. Oh, so you see those shoot shots. There was the this. one. That's then it. that left hand coming through. Do you know what? That came off the forearm. I think if that had been fist, then it might have been good night. Yeah. And Atuev was on such wobbly legs. Then he had to deal with this sort of pressure and great ground and pound from inside the guard as well from Enrique. 
Relentless. But control from Enrique as well. Yeah. You pointed it out at the time. It's really easy to overcommit in those situations, but no. Controlled pressure, then back into control on the ground. Well, certainly the Brazilians believe they've done enough to take this. Again, that's why I'm always grateful we just get to commentate and <laughs> shout at these fights because what a tough job that is to pick a winner between these two. Well, it's going to be back-to-back -back wins for one of these men in ACA. Who will it be? Let's get the official decision. Дамы и господа, по завершении боя обратимся к судейским запискам. Ladies and gentlemen, after the end of action, we go to the Georgia scorecards. 29-27, 29-27, 29-27. 29-27. И трое судей оценили одинаково этот бой 29-28. And three judges are in agreement scoring the same 29-28. Таким образом, единогласным решением победу одержал and your winner by unanimous decision Charles Blackout Enrique. Henry.